Hey y'all, it's Tiala. Welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new, welcome in. Nice to meet you. Today I'm going to be doing a short 6x6 video. It's a tutorial of showing you how to use a small space to create something fun. And I'm going to start off by showing you, I've been asked to show this technique before. So when you're laying down a tile this way instead of using the terraforming tool, it goes to the one you're standing on, the one directly in front of you, the one bottom left of you, bottom right, middle left, middle right, back left, back right, and directly behind you. So actually I have a six by seven area set up here. Usually I like to have all my items out to the side. I don't have them to the side today. I have them already in my bag. I prepare this area in advance so that I know exactly how everything is going to fit and then I lay it down for you. And actually this is going to take up about a 6 by 8 space because two items are going to overlap and hang off a little bit. But let's just go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start with some of these medieval building sides. I think they look really pretty as a wall and I thought yellow and green is great for the plant shop that I'm trying to go for. I love these trucks because you can put a design on the side of them and it's big. Isn't that cute? Next I'm going to put up a construction scaffolding. This is the gray one. And I especially like these because you can use this level right here to place items. We've got a stacked bag and some starter plants. I'm going to use a couple storage sheds here. I like the green color. You can put items on top of a storage shed also. So I'm going to stand all the way at the back. And then I'm going to stand at the front of it so it'll place the item vertically instead of horizontally. I don't remember if I needed it halfway through. I think it's a half slot. So I'm throwing your plant up here. Now, place the cherry blossom bonsai. I want an assortment of plants. So that's what I have here. I like to overlap things. So it gives you the visual stacked appearance. Different heights are really great because it just gives you more of that layered look that you're looking for. Toss at the back, shores towards the front. I think I'm actually going to put those back just a tad, tad bit. Yep. Yeah. 
you know, what greenhouse or plant shop would be complete without a water source. And some dirt. More flowers. Such an assortment. I love these stacked bags because you can really put some great designs on them, but this is one of the designs that's built right into the game. And a petaloid, how perfect is that? Because it's a flower one. This row partition is really cute and it fits perfectly here because you've got the little bits of green that come through. I really like all the green that went into this build. There we have it, a wide assortment of plants, cute little area that you can walk through, and all in a small space. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it's something that you like, check my playlist for the 6x6 challenge. I have many more tutorials listed in there. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and what you would like to see me do in the future. I would love to do some more for you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out. Take care. Bye-bye.